Well, the other major decision today in the Supreme Court has paved the way for the hanging of four men convicted for the rape and murder of a young medical professional in India's capital in 2012, which is now widely known as the Nirbhaya case, meaning fearless. The Supreme Court has dismissed the last review petition filed by one of the convicts. The court will now fix a date for their hanging. This was the worst rape murder case witnessed by India that shook the nation's conscience. A 23-year-old paramedic who was traveling back home with her friend was beaten, tortured, raped and left to die on the streets. Doctors were horrified at her wounds and signs of inhuman rape committed on her by six people. One of the juveniles was tried separately. Another of the accused hanged himself in jail. The remaining four were sentenced to death by three successive courts in India. On Wednesday, India Supreme Court gave finality to its May 2017 verdict by dismissing the last review petition pending filed by one of the convicts, Akshay Kumar Singh. Singh wanted a review of the court's decision to hang him. He argued that the verdict suffered many flaws. He doubted the prosecution story of all the accused committing rape. He punched holes in the dying statement of the victim, which did not name him as such. His petition even cited the worsening air quality in Delhi that would kill him anyway. That was one of his arguments. But uh, trashing all his arguments, the Supreme Court upheld the order. The three-judge bench headed by Justice uh, Banumati unanimously dismissed the petition. In July 2018, the Supreme Court had dismissed the review, pet review petitions of the other convicts, Mukesh, age 30, Pavan Gupta, age 23, and Vinay Sharma, age 24 at the time. Akshay, whose review petition was dismissed today by the court, is now 28. Well, the news from the Supreme Court came as a big relief for the victim's parents. Take a look at what they said. जेल में सात दिन का डेट अरे नोटिस किया था कि इसमें सात दिन के अंदर सब मर्सी पटिशन जिसको करना है कर लो इन लोगों ने नहीं किया तो ऑलरेडी इन्होंने टाइम खत्म कर दिया है आउमित है कि अब इसी पे इन लोगों का डेट अरे कि इंसाफ के एक कदम और नजदीक हम पहुंच गए अभी well, the decision of the court has cleared the way for the hanging of the four accused. A trial court in Delhi will be hearing a plea later in the day to fix the date of hanging. This incident has evoked unprecedented anger. Enraged Delhi witnessed massive protests by citizens demanding legal reforms that led to the setting up of a judicial committee that recommended far-reaching changes in the law related to rape and sexual assault. Sadly, stringent laws have not prevented the occurrence of rape or murder in the Indian city of Hyderabad. Just uh, recently, a doctor was brutally raped and her body burnt by four men within days. They were killed in a shootout. With the Apex Court verdict out, Nirbhaya's killers will be finally hanged and hopefully justice done. Switching tracks now in an attempt to bolster ties with the United States, the Indian External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar is set to meet the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo later today for the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue. Now the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and the Defense Secretary Mark Esper will host the Indian Foreign Minister Jay Shankar and the Defense Minister Rajnath Singh. The meeting hosted by the Department of State in Washington will focus on deepening bilateral strategic defense cooperation, exchanging perspectives on global developments and shared leadership in Indo-Pacific region. Uh, today's Indo-US dialogue is significant and may involve questions and course of the conversation on the Citizenship Amendment Act as well, where Jay Shankar is likely to broadly echo what the government has said in Parliament that the law does not apply to Indian citizens and is only meant to give citizenship to persecuted minorities in neighboring countries. Now, according to the schedule, uh, at 9.15 p.m. Indian Standard Time, uh, Secretary Pompeo will be meeting with the Foreign Minister Jay Shankar at the U.S. State Department. At 11 p.m. Indian Standard Time, Secretary Pompeo will all, and the Defense Minister Mark Esper will host a 2 plus 2 lunch. That's a working lunch for both the ministers. And tomorrow, Pompeo will uh, and Hesper will hold a press availability or a press conference with the Indian ministers as well.